Sports Guard Army. Welcome back, welcome back. Thanks for tuning in to another great episode we got here for you today. So if you've been watching any of the vids, um, I've been opening sealed boxes of 1990 tops, wax packs, for a long time. I'm going to continue to open them in search of the no-name Frank Thomas and the George Bush card. Now, um, I've got several of these complete sets, and we're going to open this one here today. And so my question is, is there a chance of a no-name Frank Thomas in a sealed complete set like this, along with the George Bush, or they only come in loose wax packs? So, you know, I'm going to start opening some of these. I've had these in uh, my inventory for quite a while as well, and we're going to get after it here today. So, uh, look forward to any comments on if anybody's ever pulled a no-name Frank Thomas on the channel here uh, that's just tuning in, or if you know somebody. Um, just like any kind of insight or input on... Hunting down a no-name Frank Thomas or George Bush. Okay, let's see here. Exciting new magazines for baseball fans, card, and collectors with a picture of Jose Canseco. Set that off to the side there. Let's see here. Yep. Alrighty. Thought maybe I could try and widen my lens out here, but course the first cards are always the toughest here to get out Just get a few of them okay so let's see here what are we going to start with actually if they're not even in numbered order what kind of shit show is that so First time opening a complete set of the 90s tops. Have lots of sets of 90s tops. Uh, just never opened one. But I would have thought they would have been in order. I just did a vid, if anybody tuned in um, that's watching this one to the 94 Upper Deck Choice, you'll know that that one came in order. Um, I don't know. Of all the sets I've opened, shit, a majority of them come in order. Sandy Alomar. Get that one off to the side. And if I take any out, then I'm going to put another one um, back in to make sure it stays a complete set. But that uh, Sandy looks pretty good. Again, Sports Card Army, appreciate you tuning in. Uh, tell your friends, tell your families, tell your neighbors. Let your dog watch with you or your cat. And uh, just enjoy some good sports card episodes. Enjoying the hobby. Always on the hunt for the no-name Frank Thomas. There's a nice Deion Sanders. And the George Bush. So please let me know, George Brett, if you've ever known anyone to pull one. Or if you've pulled one yourself. Did you find it in a complete set? Was it pulled from a wax pack? Sammy Sosa. I 
Ozzy. Set those off to the side. Let's see here. Continue on down the line here. No name Frank Thomas and the George Bush card. I've got every other card I ever could possibly hope and dream for out of the 1990 tops. Graded and ungraded. But the no name Frank Thomas has eluded me all these years. You ask, why do you chase it? I say, hell if I know. Why do we do anything we do? Some people make complete sets. You know, of older older years cards and sets that didn't, that didn't come in sets from the factory. You have to build them. I like the chase of the no-name Frank Thomas. You know? Was not a popular draft pick until into his third year. But then the Big Hurt became one of the greats. And, not uh, saying I'm a huge fan of George Bush, but I wasn't against him either, you know. So, <clears throat> his card does look pretty sweet. I've always... Uh, Admired that card that they had of him. And what a story and what a find it would be to find either one of these in this lifetime. And of course, you know, you can go online and go buy you one. But I don't want to buy one. I want to pull one. Because that's what I enjoy doing. And I hope you here watching today on the Sports Card Army channel enjoy it too. And you keep tuning in every time we go for it and try to find it and seek it out or anything that we got coming up. Again, appreciate you tuning in and watching and enjoying. Oh, Billy. Al Newman. Bucky Dent. Roger, Ryan, Gus, Juan, Allen, Earl, Kevin Roth, Gross, and Tim Grews. Moving this wagon train. This chuck wagon on down the line. Ah, oh, shit. There it is. I'm trying to go as fast as I can because we've all seen all these cards. Probably a thousand times. Anybody that's collected has got a bunch of these, I'm sure. Kyle Abbott. Tony Gwynn. Roger. Wade Boggs, Tom Gordon. Oh, fingers cramping. I should have did some finger stretches. Bernie Williams. Boom. Short-lived commissioner right there. Oh. Just all sorts of eight up. Oh, there we go. Sorry about that. Kurt Schillings. Always like a good Larry Walker out of one of these also. Fisk. Fisk. 
Rob Deer, Robin Yunt. Jose Canseco. Hell yeah. Mike Greenwell and Trammell. Woo! Let's see here. Kirby Puckett. Ken Griffey. The Junior. Always like a good Junior out of one of these. I mean, that's the thing, is uh, we all know, if you, even if you pull a Junk Wax Air card, and it grades well, it will bring you some money. So there is always the opportunity of that as well. Aside from all this excitement and fun of going through these, BGO, another good one. Now I do see sometimes, well there it is, the Frank Thomas. And the son of a bitch has his name. Well shit the bed. Alrighty, well, I'm going to say, I'm going to keep going, because you never know. Maybe there's a George Bush in here somewhere. Probably not, but... We'll never know unless we go through it. So follow along, guys and gals. But I would say that there could be a chance that a Frank Thomas no-name is in a complete set sealed up somewhere yet out there in the wild, Cal Ripken. I mean, if the no-name was an error and a mistake, probably no way to regulate if it went into a wax pack or a complete set, I'm sure, that I, that I can't, you know, say for sure. But, uh, you know, allegedly I would say it could be an either-or. But it did not come... in this one. Now Ripken, Jeffries, Strawberry. John Smoltz. Bo Jackson! Sports card army. Always love a good Bo Jackson. Hell yeah. Robert Olimar. Bo knows. Nolan Ryan. Always love these. Anybody's got a Nolan Ryan rookie, 68, 69, or 70 that's tuning in, if you've got any of those three cards, uh, 71, 72, 73, also. Uh, really, really 70, 71. 70, 69, and 60. 
eight. Always looking to buy those. So if you have any for sale, hit me up. Don Mattingly. Always buy those. Um, so if you've got some, you know, shoot me a quick comment or something or a message, Wade Boggs, and maybe we can strike a deal. Of course, I've got a Barry Bonds. Got the old Facebook page as well, Sports Card Army. Go check it out sometimes. I do a lot of information stuff on there. What to look for, not to get scammed. And we just put a lot of like baseball history stuff on there, football, sports history all around actually. Try to keep that updated the best as possible. Of course, the Facebook was down some yesterday. Who knows, it may all be coming to a halt soon. I guess we shouldn't. Ozzy Smith, I don't know if we even call it Facebook anymore. What is it, Meta? I don't care about Meta. I'm still going to call it Facebook. You know, they changed their name to hide their... Uh, Nolan Ryan, try to shadow their wrongdoings and all the propaganda against them like Meta's a fresh start Todd Zeal but the Facebook again Facebook have a page on there with good stuff go check it out sometime Sports Card Army's trying to bring you the best here Always looking to improve, bring you good stuff. Not because we're trying to get paid, but because we enjoy it. We enjoy this shit. Let's get it on. Fire it up now. Woo, Ricky Anderson. It's electric. Johnny Bench. Record breaker, Mark McGuire. Nolan Ryan, Harold Ryan, Baines, Kevin Seltzer, Larry Walker. That's a good one right there. Kevin Apier, Dennis Erickson. Oh, yeah. All right, all right, all right, all right. I see another Nolan Ryan. I'll take those all damn day. The sports card army will take them. Gary! Oh, let's see here. What's coming up? What's coming up? Uh, I still have no Randy Johnson um, card show list. Uh, there's a bunch of card shows. I just haven't... Uh, I need to figure out which is the, the next ones I'm going to. Oh, I, I hit on it on one of my other videos, and I know I didn't finish. I got to uh, make a decision on who I'm going to send three cards in particular to get graded. I've got, and I've had these since I was a kid, Nolan Ryan. Boom. Boom. Yeah, baby. The uh, Joe Montana rookie card of course another favorite of mine ricky henderson rookie card and the old that one guy that played some basketball a time ago he's got his logo on some shoes i think his logo's on like every uniform nowadays tony gwynn uh if i remember his name was michael michael jordan 86 fleer I do have 85 star, which is the true rookie. 
but the 86 Fleer is the one I still have since I was a kid, ungraded, and I'm going to send those three in. Now, as you know, if you've ever watched some of my vids, I will not use PSA. Can't stand them, won't use them, won't buy them. So that leaves me Beckett. Don't really particularly like CSG. I like the slabs. I just don't like that they're, oh, you know, allegedly owner, the CEO that made the company was a known card trimmer, you know. So a lot of scandal stuff there, which are scandals throughout. Ken Griffey Jr. That's a nice looking card, except we've got a little uh, mark there at the bottom. So probably won't grade it. That's a shame. That's a shame. That thing's, yeah, yeah. It may even be a little off center. I don't know. It looks really good though. Except for that little mark. Print mark there at the bottom. But, uh, so, you know, that leaves CGC, which was CSG and has been CGC forever. And they should have started out that way. So, uh, they're coming up in the ranks fast. I don't think I would use HGA. Um, because when I grade these, these are, all three of them are just, I don't know, about as mint as they can come. So at some point, I am looking to grade them, and I will, they will be up for sale. Whereas, you know, I do PC a lot of the Joe Montana stuff. But these three, you know, kids got to go to college someday, so... There you have it, 1990, complete set, Tops Baseball, appreciate you tuning in, oh shit, I actually still got a few more, my bad, <laughs> psych, just kidding, but uh, yeah, kids got to go to college someday, um, and I don't care if I have an absolute pristine one in my collection, so I don't know, probably Beckett, it's probably where I'll send them, that'll bring you know, Ricky Henderson, the uh, most return ROI, return on investment. Not that I had much of an investment in them, being as I've had them since the 80s and I was a kid. So, anyway, uh, tune in for that. I'll update you on what my decision is there. And there you have it. No George Bush. Uh, the Frank Thomas had a name. We got a nice King Griffey Jr. Nolan Ryan, quick update here. Randy Johnson, Nolan Ryan, Larry Walker, Nolan Ryan, Mark McGuire, Ricky Henderson, Todd Zeal, Nolan Ryan, Ozzie Smith, Barry Bonds, Nolan Ryan, 5,000, Bo Jackson, there's the Frank Thomas, we'll sit him to the side, Kurt Schillings, Bernie Williams, Sammy Sosa, nice Deion Sanders, Maybe off center, top to bottom. Nice otherwise, dang it. Sandy, and then once again, the Frank Thomas. Thanks for tuning in. Our hunt continues. The search is still forever on. For the no name, Frank Thomas. Brought to you today by the Sports Card Army. Thanks for tuning in again. See you next time. Until then, have a good one.